Hello again. You remember this guy? One of the subscribers, I think it's Lauris, just remind me about this, you know, just laying in my Shelton. All right, just put the right connectors here. Three stage amplifier. Let's take a look under the microscope. So here is the input. We have a diode here to protect the input and a capacitor going to the base right here, the first uh, transistor. With the emitter down to the ground with 15 ohms resistor. Okay, that's what kind of transistor is that? I think it's N43. And I found this is from Philips and it's around 6 gigahertz. Uh, okay, I'll tell you later what I'm going to do about that. Here is the power supply net going to, to the collector here. Then the collector through another capacitor here is going to the next, next level. Same story, same configuration, 50 ohms from emitter to the ground. Uh, what else? Okay. Then again, power supply net here, next on, and the last stage, you see it coming through this capacitor to the transistor base, emitter is going down to the ground with a, I think it's 9 ohms resistor, we have 218 in parallel, okay, and of course the output here, the other side. For each transistor we have a coil in each collector blocking the RF signals. Yeah. And it's funny because all the connection between transistor is done through this coil. Okay, that's the input here. But what is nice about do you see this guy here? This is a splitter. So we have an output and we can have another output here. You see, that's one of the outputs. And the other one, this can be easy used like a amplifier splitter. That's enough with this guy. Now, let me show you the power supply. This is a very classic transformer, bridge rectifier, capacitor, and that's it. What's nice about this? Being a classic power supply, we got no kind of noise. Power on. And we have 12 volts at the end of the point of this video is to connect this to the radio and to have an idea about the noise. Okay, so let me have this hooked on my radio. We need the adapter. Okay, so we have the power supply. Now here we have plus and minus. And of course, plus goes through a passing capacitor, this one right here, to the amplifier, and minus goes to the ground. Okay, let's turn on the radio. Let's do the settings like the tests before, 49.6 gain. Let me have this down at the bottom of the page. Let's check for the noise floor minus 79.5. If you remember from the other tests, it was almost the same, even 80 dBs. Okay, this one it's hooked on. Before anything else, let's see and let's check for the current. 12 volts. Now let's have the, the current, 58 milliamps for the three stage amplifier. That's not bad at all. Okay. All right, it's nice about k weights. It's always beeping when uh, you are on current mode. So that lets you know that uh, the testers are in short. Yeah, this is so funny. I'm doing something wrong here. What's happening? This is so interesting. So this is the noise. When I power it on, <laughs> it's even better. Okay. Let's hook an antenna. Let's see what's happening. Oh ho ho, there we go. Okay. That's a huge amplification noise. I don't know. Let me check some other antenna. What about this one? Same story. Everything is fine. 
do we have any signal this is the antenna in the window i think i have to put the gain down i don't see any signals but okay i got one okay let's check the antenna this is quite amazing you know this is really amazing i didn't expect that it's a free stage amplifier this should be really noisy so this is the antenna only we should see some lora activity anything yeah i got one there some other yeah it's working when i bring an antenna near the monitor i start having these two frequencies around okay so yeah it's working okay back to the amplifier what it's looking to me like a, more like a self oscillating something than amplifying and no signal kind of let me check it with my nano vna so far it's a very quiet amplifier but let's not forget something this is meant to amplify tvs or antenna or a cable or something so i don't think this is very clever for uh, amplifying lora signal there we go nano vna on 59.29 let me see in the air okay yes 59.29 and power on Ooh. we have a 60 megahertz up and down so 30 and 30 and we have a very clear one 0.34 dB. Oh, we have more than 20 dB amplification. 21.5 or something. Yeah, it's a huge amplification. Huge. Okay. Let me see what's happening when I plug in the antenna. Nothing happens, obviously. Yeah, so the amplifier it's working. Amazing. Let's go back to the radio. And let me have this. So we have a huge amplification here. That's why I'm not going to use this high gain anymore. But at least we can see minus 79.8 this is something funny here anyway let's get the amplification down to 0 dB no amplification we have this guy no signals interesting very I didn't expect that I expected a lot of noise and a lot of dirt and so on it's a three stage amplifier that means the the transistors here they are very good and you know something I have to see if I can use these transistors to feed an Akasom transistor and to check for the results. Okay, I think this N43, it's right here. BFG NPN transistor. Okay, that's the guy up to 9 gigahertz all right very nice but this is an npn and being an npn transistor we should have the plus to the base yeah right plus to the base let's see the akasom ah, one of these guys of course yeah you'll ask yourself why i'm still 
you know, stuck to this Saka song. Not this, I have plenty. But the point is that I have them. So what can I do? I have to try to find a way to use them properly. No? Nobody want to buy this anymore. Okay, remember that. Same shape, TO23, I think. So, plus on the base. Let's see. So, this transistor, the M43, have this configuration. We have the the big the big uh, one here, and this is a emitter, a collector. I'm sorry, collector. Okay, down here, emitter. Another one here, emitter. And the base it's here. And the Akasom transistor starts like that. Let's take the base. We have the base. We have an emitter. Then we have another emitter up here. And the collector. Okay. You know, it fits perfect. Emitter. This is the base, obviously. The emitter to the ground. This is the schematic, very simple. Like I said, 15 ohms resistor. Collector up here. The base. There. Very clear. Oh, the, they fit perfect. Same legs. So we have the base, emitter, collector, and another emitter, right? Let's see, let's check. This one with this one should beep. There's a collector. Yeah, and if we push it the other way, base with collector. Yeah, it's perfect. So it fits perfect except the the physical um, except the physical shape. This is some kind of bigger, but it still fits there. I'm sure about that. Okay, that's it for today. I hope it's useful. I'll do this changing in the next uh, episode or something as soon as I have time. And uh, if you feel like uh, this is useful, please like, please subscribe. And uh, don't forget, let's have some fun. Bye bye.